Belgium, which is a small country, and I think that is one of the reasons we may, one of the reasons we may differ on a couple of points. Um, small countries look differently at international institutions in general. That is one thing. The second question on this Europe, European Union, I would like to stress that Europe does not exist except as a geographical entity. We have a European Union, which is an economic and political project born after the Second World War. That project is now failing, is now imploding. That should be clear. Why? It is not only because of the financial and economic crisis we have today, the crisis of capitalism. The crisis in the European Union started well before. In fact, the real crisis in the European Union started in 1989 with the fall of the Berlin Wall. That was a major point of crisis, also because the new member states of Central, Central uh, Europe who came into the European Union obliged us to look at the in a different way to our own past. That was a very difficult moment for all European member states. The second element of the crisis was the Treaty of Maastricht, because that was a neoliberal turn in the European Union. And then, of course, in 2007 and 2008, the start of the crisis of capitalism and of our financial system. Now, there is one thing I want to stress. The point is that we should never forget that European policies from the beginning till the end are the policies of our national member states, of our national governments. They are the ones who decide. They are the ones who take all the decisions. They are the ones who created the, the central bank, etc., etc. So it is not so much that Europe interferes into national politics, it is national politics interfering in European politics and making European politics almost impossible. And one of the other elements, uh, it will be my, my, my last word in this introduction, one of these other elements of, of the failure and of the implosion of the European Union project today is precisely the situation of Germany. Because we should not forget that one of the reasons, I all, all, always used to say, as in mythology, Europe has many fathers. It is not only a child, it is a child of capitalism, absolutely, but that is not the only explanation. It is all also, um, also one of the others, um, it, it, it was an attempt to to rearm Germany and to kind of harness Germany within a European whole, in balance with France, but also with the other countries, which was small, well, Italy is not a small country, but then you had the Benelux, Belgium, Holland, and, and Luxembourg. That has failed. Today we see again a German hegemony and a German economic power that is not compared not comparable to any other member state of the European Union. And I think that is one of the main failures of today and one of the main factors of the crisis. And there we are. I think today this whole project is indeed imploding. It is not a matter of it has never been democratic. Of course, there are many elements of democracy. The whole, the whole point of discussion with democracy, I, I see... A certain paradox, because on the one hand, critics of the European Union say the European Union is like becoming a state, and we are against that. At the same time, they criticize the European Union because it does not have the same democratic institutions as a normal state. So there is a certain paradox. And I, I think, of course, there, there are serious democratic deficits in the European Union. Absolutely, there are democratic deficits. Um, but 
again, for, 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 for many points, these are linked to the influence of our national member state, of our national governments. And as long as our national governments remain neoliberal, we will have a neoliberal European Union. I mean, these points are linked. So I keep it to that in my introduction.